Chapter Five of Humorous Ghost Stories. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Barry Eads. Humorous Ghost Stories, selected by Dorothy Scarborough. Chapter Five. Dey ain't no ghosts. Once upon a time, dey was a little black boy. What he name was Mose and when he come along to be bout knee-high to a mule, he gin to get powerful fraid of ghost. Cause dat am sure a mighty ghostly occasion what he be livin, cause day is a graveyard in de hollow, and a burying ground on de hill, and a cemetery in betwixt and between, and day ain't nothin but trees nowhere, except in de clearin by de shanty, and down de hollow where de pumpkin patch am. And when de night come along, day ain't no sounds at all, what kin be heard in dat locality but de rain doves what mourn out oo just that tremulous and scary and de owls what mourn out woot hoo more tremulous and scary than dat and de wind what mourn out you oo most scandalous tremulous and scary a ball dat a powerful unpleasant locality for a little black boy what he name was mose cause dat little black boy he so specially black, he can't be seen in the dark at all, cept by de whites of his eyes. So when he go out in de house at night, he ain't dast shut his eyes, cause den ain't nobody can see him in de least. He just as indivisible as nuffin, and who know but what a great big ghost bump right into him cause he can't see him. And dat sure would scare dat little black boy powerful bad, cause everybody knows what a cold damp personality a ghost is. So when dat little black mose go out in de shanty at night, he keep his eyes wide open, you may be sure. By day he eyes about de size of butter pats, and come sundown he eyes about de size of saucers. But when he go out in de shanty at night, he eyes em de size of de white chiny plate, what set on de mantle. And it powerful hard to keep eyes what em de size of dat from a winkin and a blinkin. So when Halloween come along, dat little black mose, he jes make up his mind, he ain't gwitten out his shack at all. He cogitate, he gwine stay right snug in de shack, wid his pa and he ma. Cause de rain doves take notice dat de ghosts are philanderin' round de country. Cause de mourn out, oo and de owls de mourn out, what hoo and de wind mourn out, you oo De eyes of dat little back mose, dey as big as de white chiny plate, what set on de mantel by side de clock and the sun just a settin'. So dat all right. Little Black Mose, he scrooge right back in the corner by the fireplace, and he low he gwine stay there till he gwine to bed. But by me by, Sally Ann, what live up the road, drapes in, and Mr. Sally Ann, what is her husband, he drapes in, and Zack Badgett, and the school teacher what board at Uncle Silas Diggs' house drape in, and a powerful lot of folks drape in. And Little Black Mose, he seen dat Gwen be one surprise party, and he right down cheerful bout dat. So all dem folks shake their hands and low howdy, and some of them say, Why, there's little Mose. Howdy, little Mose. And he so pleased he just grin and grin, cause he ain't reckon what Gwen happen. So by me by, Sally Ann, what live up de road, she say, Ain't no sort of Halloween least we get a jack-o'-lantern. And the school teacher, what boarded Uncle Silas Diggs' house, she low, Halloween just ain't no Halloween at all, thought we got a jack-o'-lantern. And little black Mose, he stop a grinning, and he scrooge so far back in the corner, he most scrooge through the wall. But dat ain't no use, cause his ma say, Mose, go on down to the pumpkin patch and fotch a pumpkin. I ain't want to go, say little black Mose. Go on er long with you, say he ma, right commandin'. I ain't want to go, say Mose again. Why ain't you want to go, he ma ask. Cause I's afraid of de ghosts, say little black Mose, and dat de particular truth and no mistake. Dey ain't no ghosts, say de school teacher, what boarded Uncle Silas Diggs' house, right part. Cause dey ain't no ghosts, say Zack Badgett. What dat feared of ghosts, he ain't dare come little black Mose's house if de school teacher ain't er company him. Go long with your ghosts, say little black Moses ma. What, what you pick up that nonsense, say he pa. They ain't no ghosts. 
and dat what all dat surprise party low dey ain't no ghost and dey low dey must have a jack-o-lantern or de fun be all spiled so dat little black boy what he name is mose he done got to foch a pumpkin from de pumpkin patch down de hollow so he step out in de shanty and he stayin on de doorstep twell he get he eyes pried open as big as de bottom of his ma's wash tub mostly and he say dey ain't no ghosts and he put one foot on the ground, and dat was de first step. And de rain dove say, Ooh, ooh. and little black Mose, he took another step. And de owl mourn out, What, ooh, and little black Mose, he took another step. And de wind sob out, You, ooh. and little black Mose, he took one look over his shoulder, and he shut his eyes so tight that they hurt round the edges, and he pick up his foots and run. Yes, sir, he run right pert fast, and he say, Dey ain't no ghost, dey ain't no ghost. And he run along de path what led to the burying ground on the hill, cause dey ain't no fights around dat burying ground at all. No fights. Just the big trees what the owls and the rain does soit in and mourn and sob, and what the wind sigh and cry through. And by me by, something just brushed little Mose on the arm, which make him run just a bit more faster. And by me by, something just brushed little Mose on the cheek, which make him run about as fast as he can. And by me by, something grab little Mose by the edge of he coat, and he fight and struggle and cry out, Dey ain't no ghost, dey ain't no ghost. And dat ain't nothing but the wild briar what grab him, and dat ain't nothing but the leaf of the tree what brush his cheek, and dat ain't nothing but the branch of a hazel bush what brush his arm. But he downright scared just the same, and he ain't lose no time, cause the wind and the owls and the rain does, dey signify what ain't no good. So he scoot past dat burying ground what on the hill, and dat cemetery what betwixt and between, and dat graveyard in the hollow. Twell he came to the pumpkin patch, and he roached down, and teak er hold of de bestest pumpkin wood in the patch. And he right smart scared. He just de mostest scared little black boy what ye ever was. He ain't goin open he eyes for nothin', cause de wind go, you and de owls go, what hoo and the rain doves go oo he just speculate dey ain't no ghosts and wish he hair don't stand on in that way and he just cogitate dey ain't no ghosts and wish he goose pimples don't rise up that way and he just low dey ain't no ghosts and wish he backbone ain't all tremulous wid chills dat way so he roached down and he roached down twell he get a good hold o dat pricklesome stem of dat bestest pumpkin what in de patch and he just yanked dat stem wid all he might let loosen my head say a big voice all of a sudden dat little black boy what he name is mose he jump most out of his skin he open he eyes and he gin to shake like de aspen tree cause what dat a standin right there behind him but a mengeous big ghost Yes, sir, dat the biggest, whitest ghost what ye ever was, and it ain't got no head, ain't got no head at all. Little black Mose, he just drap on he knees, and he beg and pray. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Ghost, he beg. I ain't mean no harm at all. What for you try to take my head? Asked the ghost in that fearsome voice, what like the damp wind out in the cellar. Excuse me, excuse me, beg little Mose. I ain't know dat was your head, and I ain't know you was there at all. Excuse me. I excuse you if you do me this favor, say the ghost. I got something powerful important to say unto you, and I can't say it cause I ain't got no head. And when I ain't got no head, I ain't got no mouth. And when I ain't got no mouth, I can't talk at all. And that right logical for sure. Can't nobody talk when he ain't got no mouth. And can't nobody have no mouth when he ain't got no head. And when little black Mose, he look, he see that ghost ain't got no head at all. Nary head. So the ghost say, I come on down here for to get a pumpkin for a head. And I pick that exact pumpkin what you goin' tech. And I don't like that one bit. No, sir. I feel like I pick you up and carry you away. And nobody see you no more for you ever. But I got something powerful important to say unto you, 
and if yo pick up dat pumpkin and sot it on de place where my head ought to be, I'll let you off dis time, cause I ain't been able to talk for so long, I right hungry to say something. So little black Mose, he heft up that pumpkin, and the ghost he bend down, and little black Mose, he sot that pumpkin on that ghost's neck, and right off that pumpkin head gin to wink and blink like a jack-o'-lantern, and right off that pumpkin head gin to glimmer and glow, through the mouth like a jack-o'-lantern, and right off that ghost start to speak. Yes, sir, dat's so. What you want to say unto me? inquired little black Mose. I want to tell you, say the ghost, that you ain't need ever be scared of ghosts, cause they ain't no ghosts. And when he say dat, the ghost just vanish away like the smoke in July. He ain't even linger round the locality like the smoke in October. He just dissipate out in the air, and he gone entirely. So little Mose, he grab up the nest bested pumpkin, and he scoot. And when he come to the graveyard in the hollow, he gone ere long same as ever, only faster, when he reckon he'll pick up a club in case he gwine have trouble. And he rotch down and rotch down and take hold of a likely appearing hunk of wood what right there. And when he grab that hunk of wood, Let loosen my leg, say a big voice all of a sudden. That little black boy most jump out of his skin, cause right there in the path is six menjus big ghosts, and the biggest ain't got but one leg. So little black Mose just naturally handed that hunk of wood to the biggest ghost, and he say, Excuse me, Mr. Ghost, I ain't know dis your leg. And what them six ghosts do but stand round and confabulate? Yes, sir, dat's so, and when they do, one say, Pears like this a mighty likely little black boy. What we gonna do for to reward him for politeness? And another say, Tell him what the truth is about ghosts. So de biggest ghosts, he say, I gwine tell you something important what ye everybody don't know. They ain't no ghosts. And when he say dat, the ghosts just naturally vanish away, and little black Mose he proceed up the path. He so scared, he hair just yank at the roots, and when the wind go, oo and the owl go, what hoo and the rain doves go, you he just tremble and shake, and by me by, he come to the cemetery, what betwixt in between, and he sure is mighty scared, cause day is a whole company of ghosts lined up along the road, and he low he ain't going to spend no more time palavering with ghosts. So he step off on the road for to go round there about, and he step on a pine stump what lay right there. Get off in my chest, say a big voice all of a sudden, cause dat stump am been selected by the captain of the ghosts for to be he chest, cause he ain't got no chest betwixt his shoulders and he legs. And little black Mose, he hop off in the stump right pert. Yes, sir, right pert. Excuse me, excuse me that little black Mose beg and plead, and the ghosts ain't no whether to eat him up at all or not, cause he step on the boss's ghost's chest that away. But by me by, they low they let him go, cause that was an accident, and the captain ghost he say, Mose, you Mose, I going to let you off this time, cause you ain't nothing but a miserable little trembling nigger, and I want you should remember one thing most particular. Ye yes, sir say that little black boy, I'll remember. What is that I got to remember? The captain ghost, he swell up, and he swell up, twill he was as big as a house, and he say in a voice what shake the ground, they ain't no ghosts. So little black Mose, he bound to remember that, and he rise up and meek and bow, and he proceed toward home right lively. He do indeed. And he goin' along just as fast as he kin, when he come to the edge of the burying ground what on the hill, and right there he bound to stop, cause the country round am so populous he ain't able to go through. Yes, sir, seems like all the ghosts in the world having a conference right there. Seem like all the ghosts what ever was em having a convention on that spot, and that little black Mose, so scared he just fall down on a old log what dare and screech and moan, and all of a sudden the log up and spoke. Get off in me, get off in me, yelled that log. So little black Mose, he get off in that log, and no mistake. And soon as he get off in the log, the log uprise, and little black Mose, he see that that log am the king of all the ghosts. 
and when de king uprise all de congregation crowd round little black mose and dey about eleven million and a few lift over yes sir dat de regular annual halloween convention what little black mose interrupt right there am all de spirits in de world and all de haunts in de world and all de hobgoblins in de world and all de ghouls in de world and all de spectres in de world and all de ghosts in de world and when they see little black mose they all gnash they teeth and grin cause it get near long toward day all's lunch time so de king what he name old skull and bones he step on top of little mose's head and he say gentlemen de convention will come to order de secretary please note who is present de first business what come before de convention m what we goin do to a little black boy what step on de king and maulin all over de king and treat de king dat disrespectful and little black mose just moan and sob excuse me excuse me mr king i ain't mean no harm at all but nobody ain't pay no attention to him at all cause everyone looking at a monstrous big hunt what named bloody bones what rose up and spoke your honor mr king and gentlemen and ladies he say dis am a right bad case a blazy majesty cause de king been step on when ye every little black boy what choose goin wander round at night and step on de king of ghosts it ain't no time to palaver it ain't no time for to prevaricate it ain't no time for to cogitate it ain't no time do nothin but tell de truth and de whole truth and nothin but de truth and all dem ghosts sickened de motion and they confabulate out loud air about that and de noise sound like de rain doves goin woo and de owls goin what hoo and de wind goin you so dat resolution am passed unanimous and no mistake so de king of de ghosts what name old skull and bones he place he hand on the head of little black mose and he hand feel like a wet rag and he say dey ain't no ghosts and one of de hairs what on de head of little black mose turn white and de monstrous big haunt what he named bloody bones he lay he hand on de head of little black mose and he hand feel like a toadstool on de cool of de day and he say dey ain't no ghosts and another of de hairs what on de head of little black mose turn white and a hejus spirit what he named moldy palm place he hand on de head of little black mose and he hand feel like the under side of a lizard and he say dey ain't no ghosts and another of de hairs what on de head of little black mose turn white as snow and a particular bend up hobgoblin he put he hand on de head of little black mose and he make dat same remark and dat whole convention of ghosts and spectres and haunts and ye ever thing which am more'n a million pass by so quick dey all's hands feel like de wind what blow out in de cellar when de day am hot and dey all say dey ain't no ghosts yes sir dey all say em dem words so fast it sound like de wind when it moan through de turkentine trees what behind de cedar press and ye ever hear what on little black mo's head turn white dat what happen when a little black boy gwin meet a ghost convention dat away dat so he ain't gwin forget to remember dey ain't no ghosts cause if a little black boy gwin imaginate dey is ghosts he gwin be scared in the dark and dat a foolish thing for to imaginate so presently all de ghosts am whiff away like de fog out in de holler when de wind blow on it and little black mose he ain't seen no case for to remain in dat locality no longer he rotch down and he raise up de pumpkin and he perambulate right quick to he ma's shack and he lift up de latch and he open de door and he enter in and he say yere's de pumpkin and he ma and he pa and sally ann will live up de road and mr sally ann what her husband and zack badgett and the school teacher what board at unc silas diggs's house and all the powerful lot of folks what come to the doings dey all scrooge back in the corner of the shack cause zack badgett he been done tell a ghost tale and the rain doves gwine hoo and the owls am going what hoo and the wind it gwine you and ye everybody powerful skeered 
cause little black Mose, he come a fumblin' and a rattlin' at the door, just when dat ghost tail most scary, and everybody gwine imaginate dat he a ghost a fumblin' and a rattlin' at the door. Yes, sir. So little black Mose, he turn he white head, and he look round and peer round, and he say, What you all scared for? Cause if anybody scared, he want to be scared too. That's natural. But the school teacher, what live at Uncle Silas Diggs's house, she say, For the land's sake, we thought you was a ghost. So little black Mose, he sort of snip and he sort of sneer, and he low, Ha, huh, they ain't no ghosts. Then he ma, she powerful took back that little black Mose, he going to be so uppetish and contradict folks what know arithmetics and algebraics and general counting without fingers like the school teacher what board at Uncle Silas Diggs's house knows, and she say, Huh, what you know about ghosts anyways? And little black Mose, he just kinder stand on one foot, and he just kinder suck he thumb, and he just kinder low. I don't know nothing air about ghosts, cause they ain't no ghosts. So he pa gon whoop him for tellin' a fib bout they ain't no ghosts when ye everybody know they is ghosts. But the school teacher, what boarded Unc Silas Diggs's house, she take note the hair of little black Moses' head in plum white, and she take note little black Moses' face em the color of wood ash, and she just retch one arm round that little black boy, and she just snuggle him up and she say, Honey lamb, don't you be scared, ain't nobody gonna hurt you, how you know they ain't no ghosts? And little black Mose, he kinder lean up against the school teacher what boarded Unc Silas Diggs's house, and he low, cuz, 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 I met the captain ghost, and I met the general ghost, and I met the king ghost, and I met all the ghosts what yever was in the whole world, and yever ghost say the same thing, they ain't no ghosts. And if the captain ghost, and the general ghost, and the king ghost, and all the ghosts in the whole world don't know if there am ghosts, who does? That's right, that's right, honey lamb, say the school teacher, and she say, I been spicious day ain't no ghost this long whiles, and now I know. If all the ghosts say they ain't no ghosts, they ain't no ghosts. So ye everybody low dat so, cept Zack Badgett, what been tellin' the ghost tale, and he ain't gon' say yes, and he ain't gon' say no, cause he right sweet on the school teacher, but he know right well he done seen plenty ghosts in he day, so he bound to be sure first. So he say to little black Mose, Tain't likely you met up with a monstrous big haunt what lived down the lane what he named Bloody Bones? Yes, say little black Mose, I done met up with him. And did old Bloody Bones done told you they ain't no ghost? Say Zack Badgett. Yes, say little black Mose, he done tell me perzactly dat. Well, if he told you they ain't no ghost, say Zack Badgett, I got to load they ain't no ghost, case he ain't one tell no liar about it. I know dat bloody bones ghost since I was a pickin' and I done met up with him a powerful lot of times, and he ain't gwine tell no lie air about it. If that particular ghost say they ain't no ghost, they ain't no ghost. So ye everybody say, that's right, they ain't no ghost. And dat meek little black mose feel mighty good, cause he ain't like no ghosts. He reckon he gon' be a heap more comfortable in he mind since he know they ain't no ghosts, and he reckon he ain't gon' be scared of nothin' no more, and he ain't gon' mind the dark, and he ain't gon' mind the rain doves what go, hoo-hoo, and he ain't gon' mind the owls what go, hoo-hoo, and he ain't gon' mind the wind what go, you hoo nor nothin' no how. He gon' be brave as a lion since he know for sure they ain't no ghosts. So presently he ma say, Well, time for a little black boy what he name is Mose to be going up the ladder to the loft to bed. And little black Mose, he low he gwine just wait a little bit. He low he gwine to be no trouble at all if he just been let wait twelve he ma she gwine up the ladder to the loft to bed too. So he ma she say, Get along with you. What you scared of when they ain't no ghosts? And little black Mose, he scrooge, and he twist, and he pucker up the mouth, and he rub he eyes, and presently he say right low, I ain't scared of ghosts, what am? Cause they ain't no ghosts. Then what am you scared of? Ask he ma. Nothing, say the little black boy what he name is Mose, but I just feel kinder uneasy about the ghosts what ain't. Just like white folks, just like white folks. End of chapter five.